Dear Flabby, the owner of the business I work for hired a known felon to work for us. And when she comes into work high on meth or some other drug, the buck gets passed to me to do something about it. We have several minors working for us as well, and none of them feel safe around her. What should I do to get the owner to listen? Also, because you guys need something to laugh about, yesterday, after telling me she was quitting, she went back to the bar adjacent to us, for what I assumed to be the second time that day, and collapsed in their store. Am I allowed to use the no givesies backsies defense to legally protect me? Thank you for your 100% timely and legally sound advice. <laughs> so anybody t- anytime somebody says that they don't feel safe, you're a pussy. I don't care. Just tell them kids to buck up. <laughs> Wrong. 100% wrong advice. No, 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 that's right advice. Somebody, I don't feel safe around you. Fuck you. Okay. How how old's your oldest kid? 15. So they're going to start working here pretty quick, right? Yeah. And let's say that they decide to go to the west end of a town near you. Yes. To start working at a bar. <laughs> yes. Awesome. And she comes home and says, Dad, I, I just don't feel safe. Yeah. You're going to say... Buck up, Buck pussy. Up. <laughs> exactly. No, what, what are you going to say? So if, if there's a reason for her to feel not safe, well, maybe okay. But if, like, there's this lady that does drugs and I feel unsafe around her, you're being a pussy. Stop it. You have never been around somebody that, like, a meth head, have you? No. Right. So th- you, you're you not even allowed to speak on this topic. Oh, shit. I'm flabby. I can speak on all the topics. <laughs> No, it, you have no idea how sporadic somebody like that is. Like, are they going to steal your shit? Are they going to suck your dick? You never know what they're going to fucking do. That Either was one of those things is not to feel unsafe about. <laughs> I'm going to try. I thought I was going to get a bigger response from that. <laughs> All right. Are they going to steal your shit? Are they going to suck your dick? <laughs> That's there a you great go. one. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. <laughs> never thought about it that way. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to tone it down on this next try. Okay. Can we take it from steel? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Steal your shit or suck your dick. Huh. I guess I never really thought about it that way. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> guess you're right. Anyway, you're, you're wrong. What? Then what's the answer? Pussies never feel safe around anybody. Just tell them they're pussies and tell them to shut up. I don't understand. I, I, this whole thing is, I don't feel safe. Oh, this person is making me feel unsafe. Did, quit being a pussy. No, it's not quit being a pussy. If if you are an employer, okay, let's pretend that you open up your record store, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And in your record store, you have five employees. Mm-hmm. One of those employees was a bad hire. They were somebody that turned out to be a drug dealer and they come in and they fall down. Uh, they're, I don't want to, I don't, I'm trying not to, I don't want to say stealing anything because then you would just say firing them for stealing, but uh, they're just acting poorly. They're like, like making people feel unsafe. Yes. They like okay. have a butterfly knife and she just spins it around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just casually throwing like uh, ninja stars. Oh, I love those things. <laughs> Okay, so then you have one of you. First off, it's yeah. your responsibility as the employer, or it's the employee's resp- employer's responsibility to ensure a safe working environment. Whatever. I don't know that that's true, is it? <laughs> yeah, yes, it's true. <laughs> Why right. do you think you have to wear a hard hat? <laughs> <laughs> they want to protect my soft spot. <laughs> All right, so it's my responsibility as an employer to not only make sure my business is successful, but also to make sure that pussies feel safe. Okay, got it. Yeah, that, you word it however you want, but if you have a problem employee, mm-hmm. you can't just look at your other staff and say, "Hey, can you go take care of her?" <laughs> what? Where do where is the line though? Like, if if your job is an employer, right before right before you tell somebody to go take care of a problem employee. <laughs> No, you're saying that it's my job as an employer to make my employees feel safe. What if somebody does something that like is completely normal and now everybody feels unsafe because they're a bunch of fucking pussies? How is that that on me? Like what? Uh, I don't know. 
whatever people do at jobs these days that people say they're juggling chainsaws. Yeah, I mean, who fucking cares? Just stay away from her. You're, you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you are such a contrarian. You're and you're always looking for that same angle, like how it reflects on today's society. Mm -hmm. If 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 you have yeah, and you're living in the seventies. <laughs> what I don't know. <laughs> I was just looking for a different angle. <laughs> <laughs> if you, when your when your daughter gets a job, she's mm -hmm. going to come home and say, "There's this person at work that this this old eighty five year old black guy with no teeth keeps hitting on me." <laughs> he's harmless. Don't worry about it. And he and he's doing it in front of the boss. Okay. What are you going to say? You're either going to tell her to quit. Mm -hmm. Or if you had any kind of balls, you would go beat the shit out of that guy that's hitting on your daughter. <laughs> An 85-year-old black guy? How, no, why? She can't take care of her own problems? Oh, oh you are a, a wonderful father. There's an 85-year-old black guy that says, hey, you're hot, and I'm supposed to go beat him up? That's yes. retarded. No. <laughs> okay. It's a 25-year-old black guy. Oh, he's getting his ass kicked. By who? You're not going to fucking me. do it. I'm going to beat the fuck out of him. I, I was questioning on the 85-year-old black guy. <laughs> what was the question again?